Well guys, welcome to Rental Rocket Landscaping. So, we've done the landscaping, we've done the lawn care stuff, but what we're doing is getting into snow plowing. I have a shop set up, I'll give you guys a tour of all the equipment, and then we gotta go pick up a snow plow actually. And just on time, there's Buck. Bird, what you doing man? Oh hey there bud, I'm just freezing my butt off like usual, how about yourself? Turn on those heat seeders man. Nah, those are overrated. Don't you got booty massagers in there? Ah, that's a, oh that's an only an XLT, okay. Yeah, I miss, I got cloth in here buddy, I ain't no need, oh hang on a minute, I can't hear you. Yeah, right. I was gonna say. There we go. I can't hear you. Now, I can't talk too long because I'll freeze my butt off even more. But, uh, yeah, shop over in Nebraska right now. We aren't getting a whole lot. It's that, like, very last part of fall where everyone's technically got their leaves cleaned up. Okay. And I heard you guys got that snowstorm that just came in and whacked it. We're supposed to get some more next week. I mean, we probably got over a foot in half a day. It was quick. She Woo! hit hard. Yeah. You're a uh, two, two-hander? What? Oh, 10 and 2. Well... <laughs> it's a little bit sketchy out here on Iowa roads, all right? I can tell. You're still holding on. I, it's it's not white knuckles, though, all right? It's not white knuckles worthy. It's just I, I'm very scared with this truck. And while you're while you're at it, hop on in so we don't have to freeze oh, our butts yeah. off. Thank you. Yeah, see, nothing, no heated seats, just really nice heater in the car, in the truck. I'm going to back it up here. Hey, I got to go pick up some toolboxes over at the tractor supply. Okay. Could you give me a ride over there? Um... Do, you, do we want to haul them all back in this, or what do we want to do? I mean, do you want to? you have another truck that has nothing in the bed? Yeah, here, come here. We should have. Well, it's probably going to be the human door, but. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that's going to keep the heater on. Okay, so I got this F one fifty here. Obviously, we have a salt spreader here, so it's so it's, yeah, it's the baby. Deep. It's it's what we started on, man. Ooh, I like this. So. This is going to be your office. Two okay. double monitors. Last employee caught playing farm sim during work time. Don't do it. Mm, that stupid, that yeah. stupid idiot. Why, yeah. why would he play that game? He was snow hey, plowing. Uh, he was snow plowing. Snow in a plowing. video game. How dare he? Get out here and do the real stuff. Exactly. And actually to get a job. I really like what you did with the place when it comes to decorating, dude. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Texaco, Phillips. All Ford signs and deer. Man, this is a great this is a great workplace. Did did real nice on that. The only thing we're missing, we need a good toolbox. One rolling, because I always hate having to walk all the way over here for my parts while I'm working at you know a different shop um, like across there. You do realize this is just an oversized Home Depot one that's plastic, right? Yeah, I hate it. That, that's probably it's probably why you're not having very good tool storage. <laughs> that and you had some paper thin ones. Those are probably gonna snap anyway. But yeah, I'd suggest probably getting some new new toolbox. I was like, I thought I shut it. <laughs> da -da -da. So we built this one last year. This is the new baby. And there's, Ooh. yep, just picked up this 2020 also. So it's an F-250 Lariat, 6.7 Power Stroke. The only thing I don't have is I don't have a blade for it. So we got to pick uh, that up today too. Okay. Uh, the one thing I'm actually kind of digging is the King Ranch rims on this thing. Actually, doesn't look half bad. I like those King Ranch over the Lariat rims, so I traded you guys straight up. Let's say I thought you were always more of a little bit bigger rims, because aren't those 20s and the Lariats were like 18s? Lariats, you can get 20s. I did have 18s. I did have 18-inch rims on my ah. Lariat. That was the issue. I was like, I want 20s, and the King Ranch rims look real good. Check out the F-150. We just picked this up also for this season. This is supposed to be the little runner. I need anything done. I don't want to drive with a plow and a big salt spreader behind me. I can just take this truck, run over, talk to the person, run back. As I say, probably the least amount of time on the road with this thing. Better, just business trips, in other words. Hello? Yeah? Perfect. We ever, uh, I'll, say, we'll be there oh, soon. Yeah. Sorry, Buck. I'm on the... Oh. Sorry about that. So that was Jimmy called. Plow's ready. Oh, okay. I'll drive over with my pickup truck because I got to hook up to that plow. And then we'll Let's meet say, at tractor supply and pick up a toolbox or two toolboxes. Can fit two of them in my bed uh, lengthwise as long as they can, in other words, get over the top of the wheel wells. Wait, do you have that engine block heater option on that thing? I do. Oh, good, good call. They unplug that. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't want to rip that out. Drive it away like you see the wall ripped out of this <laughs> shed. Hey, uh, Grant? Yeah. You got a you got a CB in there? I do. Why didn't you show me the ram that's on the hill? I just noticed that. Yeah, the ram on the rock pile. Oh, I forgot to show you that. Yeah. Cause like I thought it was a, like I thought this was an all Ford establishment. I'm like I swear you I wouldn't... saw something else. Here. Oh, okay, that is not the driveway. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> just Whoops. bust through there, Buck. You got four by four. I do, but I'm also not down to be paying payments on someone's front end by sliding into it. Hey, uh, question. Toolboxes around back. Take a right. How long are right. you gonna haul a toolbox in that thing with the spreader? Yes, that's why we're putting two in yours. Uh, we got an issue. I see three. Hey, Buck, I just talked with Shakira, the manager. Um, she said 
We got two. Yeah, we put an order in two months ago. I can't believe I forgot, but we got the blue one and the black one. The green one is for David. He runs another landscape company way out. I ain't gonna pick him up. Let's see if I can drag. Come on. Uh, you could probably get a forklift. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, sadly, I think the Matco actually just got recalled. Hutch was off, so they had to get a new one. So I guess David's gonna have to suck it up because we're gonna be taking both snap-ons. <laughs> we could just, but it's David's order buck. Hold on, let me go talk to Shakira. Let me see if like I can I work said, stuff out. Like I said, she'll be fine. Buck, we're just gonna. If he's, if he wanted it, he would have came and picked it up already. Okay. I don't know. I gotta buck, get, get on the other side. I'll toss you a strap. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Ready? Yep. There you go. Okay, uh, coming okay. over to the right, or to your left. She's coming in hot. Here we go. Whoop. You got it? There we go. Okay. Yep, and then I think I got one more to your left. Oh. Whoop. Yep. There we go. Got, got it. it. Dang. Good thing we got Dooley. Give her heck through here, man. We got to get over this. Come on. I'm going to take it a little bit, a little bit wider because I got two heavy toolboxes in here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she almost tiffed. Holy. Would not this not screen. be cool or what? Pick up a 333G. Oh, shoot, I didn't even these. Yeah, they already got the snow plow on it, too. I, I wouldn't get the snow for tracks. I'd get the wheels. Wheels? Okay. I would, if, if we, I don't think we should spend it. I, I personally grand. wouldn't get one. We'll charge you out the butt for those. Take a look at my savings account. There's no way we could afford that. Oh, no, 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 no way, not at all. They're not bad for, like, just driving, but, like, when it comes to turning and whatnot, they just don't, no, they're not that. I gotta talk to Gerald and uh, see where he put that plow at. All right, I'm actually gonna head back to the shop. Where do you want the toolboxes? That way I can get that F-150 fired up, ready to go. Toolbox in one way? shop, toolbox in the other shop. You can okay, choose the color. Um, it's all on you. Perfect. Other building. Okay. Okay, thanks, Gerald. Yeah, you too. Stay safe out there. So, our snow plow, which is a fisher. We bought a fisher. It's a straight blade. It's an eight-foot blade all the way over at this other building over here. Now, also, some of you guys may be wondering, hey, why don't you have Chevy, man? You have, like, five, four trucks, and Chevy's something we've been trying to get. All the new trucks, they're all out of stock. It's tough for Chevy to keep up. They're in such high demand. So, we plan to pick up a Chevy truck or GM truck soon, uh, but we got to find the right one. The Fisher was 4500 brand new. A, a lot of guys I've talked to who like the Boss Blades... Uh, we'll see what we think of this Fisher. It's got the storm guard. It's got the headlights. Now, one thing I was considering getting was a V plow. That would have been nice, but it was a lot more expensive. Okay, we got the blade hooked up. I'll let me check to see if the lights work. So we got lights coming out the front. I don't know if we can get out of here. We got to plow ourselves a little uh, way out of here, I think. You get the two boxes on load, Buck? Yes, I got the lime green one in your shed over there towards the south, wait, no, the west wall, and I got mine towards the north wall on mine. Okay, check out the new Fisher. What do you think? Oh, it's very nice. It's, it looks like something I've seen before. It's a tad small, though. It does look a little bit underscaled on it. Yeah. This is Grant at Rental Rocket Landscaping. How can we help? Yeah, two minutes. It's right across the street. Sounds good. Thanks, Lauren. Okay, Lauren from Casey's called. Uh, David's sleeping in right now. He's not even getting the oh, job done at Casey's. No wonder he didn't get the job done. So we got to get over there. And this this okay. could be our account. Let's roll. Ooh, amazing. We let's, don't have salt roll. yet, though. But Yeah, but say the spreaders are useless, but they're extra weight. So that's what I see it as. Does this have that 3.5 or the 2.7 Eco Boost? It's got the 3.5. Be yes. careful, man. She'll spin the tires. I've noticed. I remember I was on the snow the other week with one of these, and it was just... Do right, you want me to take lead, or you want to take point? You can take lead. All right, I'm just going to, like, you know, clear the right lane here, so that way you can at least even get into Casey's. Let's see if we can break through here. Come on. I should have got the oh, V-plow. I mean, do you even know how to run the V-plow? I do not. I say, I've ran one before. I'm not too good at it. It was last winter when I ran one last. Try not to put the snow against the fence over here. There's bushes right. in the in the uh, east side of Casey's that we'll push into. Okay, I gotta like get this last chunk that I'm pushing out over here so the right lanes open up to the dealer. All right, I'm turning around now. Hopefully I'll get there in a second without getting rear-ended. All right, coming in east side. Okay. okay. Your CB's echoing a little bit. Uh, a little bit. There we go. Uh, I have no idea. Oh yeah, I did enter just right. Sweet. You in? Yep. Oh, the 150 is not liking the weight. <laughs> oh, okay. I see which fence you're talking about now. At least they got. At least they didn't get any underneath the pumps. That does help. This is a lot of snow, Buck. That's why the Fords are able to handle it. That Ram, I'm worried that the transmission will drop in it. Oh, uh, that Ram's pretty reliable, Buck. 5500. Yeah, she'll push. Right. That's what we should have been using, actually. 
If you want to go back and get a shop, uh, say I'll go get that deep plow. Yeah, I was gonna say you can push a lot of snow with that. Actually, this one has a better turn radius, so it can be the better cleanup crew. Unless okay. you want to use that truck. Man, this 250 with a diesel engine, and then oh, I can't imagine if we actually had the salt spreader filled. This thing would just be a beast. The weight's here. There's Buck. You know what I noticed about this truck? That's one thing I was wanting to get is roof strobe lights. Those would be nice. Yes. Buck, you have that V-plow, right? Could you come help yeah. me? I want to get all this snow cleared away from this fence. So I can push it out to you and you can V-plow it into uh, the pile. Hang on a minute. Okay, Buck. I'll pile her for you and you can take her away. That's what I'm doing. I'm already on your right, so watch out. Oh, come on, Ram. Hold I on, Buck. You. Let me pile into you. Scoop. Let me pile into you. There you go. There we go. Come on, baby. Get it going. Oh, this thing's not liking to scrape the ground very well. Better I'm putting the thing straight on the ground. That's probably why it's not getting in the middle. Never mind. Operator error. I'm gonna. I got an idea. So. Put your blade, point it towards the road over here, and I am gonna rotate the blade inward, and we'll kind of like push it towards the side together. Okay. Ready? Yep. You making it? Oh, oh I'm getting come there. on. I'm getting there. Up. Oh, hang on. There we go. Reset. I keep getting this joystick mixed up. It's like backwards. Why am I stuck on? Curb. Oh. There's a curb. Oh, there's no drip. Nice. Oh, hang on. There we go. There he goes. Let's see if we can't pile this up for Buck a little better. There we go. Well, if it's okay with you, I might actually head back to the uh, the shop because I got to take a, a press call, a uh, press call, conference call. Okay. For some stuff going down at our Nebraska location, so I'll catch you later, bud. Uh, finish up here at Casey's and uh, let me know when you need more help on this, as I'll just be in town the rest of the day. Okay. Sounds good, Buck. All right, see you, bud. We'll see ya. Well, guys, I'm finishing up here. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, Buck's channel is down below. He was also making a video. So if you want to check out his, I'll link his channel down below. Looks like Buck must be unloading somewhere around here. Oh. <laughs> More just light bars or like grill lights. Light bar on top of me. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh,